and gentlemen, Sandra Bernhardt. I wasn't. I was doing the showbiz. <laughs> you know, I have a feeling that tonight may be one of those great show business nights that we've yet to see in many, many years. And you know just what I mean. So don't fake it with me. Come on, kids. Get it up. Give it up. It's show business. It's at its very finest tonight. I spent a lot of years in this business. I've spent a lot of nights with a lot of great people in this business, from the great comics, from the Shecky Greens, <laughs> to the Burls, to the Lewises. I've spent many nights with the great comics, and then I've just swung all the way over and hung out with the Rock and Rollers, <laughs> Axel. <laughs> I was his neighbor for a while. Don't forget that. We kicked in a lot of doors in a lot of hotels, okay? <laughs> Stevie Nicks and I have cried and cried and cried. <laughs> but this could be one of those show business nights that you will never forget. And I don't know why yet, and I'm scared. <laughs> but I feel the tension mounting, building. Somebody's mounting somebody somewhere. <laughs> what? What is that? You're in the middle of my brilliance? You're gonna give me some tacky t-shirt that I have too many of already? What is it? Oh, we'll decide that when we see it, honey. I love you. Bold. <laughs> this is just for my viewing enjoyment? What? That is. What, <laughs> what is it, honey? <laughs> what are you, like a one man review? What is this? <laughs> just do me. <laughs> honey, not with that blouse. <laughs> I'm tripping. This reminds me of the 60s. What? People are screaming out. They're freaking out. I'm holding this Prakasha t-shirt. Like, I'm really going to take this home. It's at least 100% cotton. And I wore it first. God knows what you did with a kaleidoscope. I'm not even... No, I'm sorry. It's... It's getting funky and real, <laughs> or real funky, whatever. Oh, uh, no, honestly, this is a big show tonight. We have, I mean, I, you can be arrested for burning that shirt, but just don't. It's an American flag shirt. Do they get over that little insane phase, the flag burning thing? Are they onto something new now to, like, take our minds off the reality, like none of us have any money? Um, that really bummed you out. Free beers! Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, honey, you've had about 100 glasses back <laughs> He's out of his mind. He just stepped in from the 60s and never... Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's what happens when they give away free beer. Everybody drops in. It's, it's always dangerous when the tickets are free and it includes a glass of beer. Thank you. Jesus loves you, I know. He's, he's really helped all of us a lot. Um, but, be <laughs> but besides that, I want to... It's like a freak show tonight. Dateline is following me around to do a big 13-minute segment down to, the, down to the absolute second. Look at this guy. He's here. <laughs> Stone Phillips is here. We drove over from my house from the valley. Had a long chat. A real in, on team intimate moment. <laughs> me and Stone got very funky and re real and revealed our childhoods to each other. Some information was unwarranted. Stone was riveted to me. Smashed into a couple of semis. I can't... <laughs> I love that they always send the men to do the women. Have you noticed that? They don't want a woman to interview a woman. There could be implications. <laughs> They're afraid there might be a, a bizarre energy that gets struck up between the two of them. It can turn into an on-camera tension. Because he told me his first interview was with Carly Simon. She started off a little bitchy, but then got very nice. Stone, I hope I'm not getting away any secrets. He's probably going to run out of here and sue me. And I get a call from Carly, who's very competitive with women, by the way. Miss Carly. Simon. Miss Carly, I can't give a minute to you, Simon. <laughs> you, know, you know what's brilliant about Carly? She goes around to all the boutiques in New York and passes out her tapes. It's like, I saw her like all 
up and down Columbus Avenue. What the, what the hell is Carly Simon doing? And she was carrying a basket of sandwiches with her. At the I was like, going in and out of my like beauty salons and stuff, you know? It's like, <laughs> You know how in Beverly Hills, at all the beauty salons, they sell those sandwiches and fruit baskets and stuff, and you think, oh, this is going to be delicious, and you open it up, it's all kind of like, things have soaked into it. <laughs> the sandwiches are kind of like sponges, and they taste kind of like strawberries and papayas, and a nice ham on rye. Mmm. Now, are you really from my kibbutz that I was on? You must have been very young when I was there. I, well, I, you know, like I told her, my Hebrew has gone shot to hell. You're a child. I, I was on a kibbutz in Israel. I told you about it earlier. And can you believe somebody from the, the kibbutz is here? I'm gonna cry. I'll be in Oh, like that. <laughs> Does your mother know you're over here, rabble rousing with, with some tough looking chicks? <laughs> you just got off the back of a motorcycle with these bronze. <laughs> a nice Jewish girl from a kibbutz picking Ashkoli out. Next thing I know, she's in Santa Monica with a motorcycle gang. I mean, you know, you <laughs> Wow! Well, I have to cool out for a minute. So we're gonna break for a commercial. We're gonna come back with Bobcat Goldthwait and Mark Roberts. We'll see you in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing a kooky hat. Of course, she, she's put on a little bit of weight, but she's not modeling that much anymore. So, hi, Lauren. Kooky gap tooth, Lauren Hutton. I love a good gap tooth. Well, we're, oh, this old thing I'm wearing, I've worn this till the cows came home and left again. Wow, no pun intended. A little Isaac Mizrahi number, something simple. I often sleep in it, you know? It's so comfortable, I just crash out and I don't. Nine hours later, I'm feeling amazing, you know? Of course, you can't get nine hours of sleep when you, you... I've just fallen in love with somebody, so of course, you know, and the person happens to live in Europe. <laughs> it's, very, it's a very convenient relationship, you know? But it's exciting. But, you know, you're always talking to each other, like, at all hours of the night. It's like they call you at three in the morning because it's, like, noon there. And they, they're having a normal conversation. You're like, oh, I'm right, honey, I love you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and then you call... Them. Yeah, it's just a whole screwed-up thing, but I can't be away from the phone for more than ten minutes. I get very nervous because I just sometimes need to call, you know? You know how it is when you fall in love for the first time? Ever? Um, <laughs> in your mid-30s? It's scary. I mean, hi. Are you with the crew? Oh, no, you're a guest. And you're proudly displaying that. Did everybody... <laughs> Did everybody get those? You're just special. Hi, I'm a guest. <laughs> I don't know if you know me or not. I'm a world-famous guest in turquoise spandex. <laughs> Are you all together? Are you all together at this table? Sometimes I, th I just think they just throw people at the tables and you have absolutely nothing in common, you've never met each other, but apparently that's true. <laughs> uh, well, it's going to be a great show tonight, um, a lot of fun, and um, move and groove for the best and the rest, and pay my fee, um, which is exorbitant. No, only kidding. Ah! We have a great show, though. Come I am so fed up with my hair and makeup people, I tell you. They have pushed me right to the edge. I say, you know, they want, they want, they want. They give me nothing. Nothing but trouble. The hair and makeup people in this town are insane. They, ru they rule this town. You know that, of course. You are agreeing. Thank God somebody can relate to it. Are you an actress? You, the redhead. Oh, you're, oh, you're both agreeing. So you know how they are with you, right? Of course, they are the superstars as well. You know, all hair and makeup people in this town. Are just, and... You know, you think of evil people, you think of murderers, you think of rapists, you think of, you know, child abusers. No, hair and makeup people are the most evil of all. Because what they do to you, how they tease your hair, how they make you look, how they apply the eyeshadow when they jab you in the eye, it's like unbearable. I just don't... But I deal with it because, you know, I'll do anything for fashion, obviously. I guess this is really the ultimate fashion victim statement, you know, it really is. <laughs> no, this is a really incredible show tonight. We have such... I'm excited because I got a note from someone in the audience that read, Sandra, gave the same note to someone else, but I don't think you'll get it. Well, surprise. So here it is again, this way. I'm the one in the kerchief. I wear it because I have the longest hair in the world, 12 feet, Diane Witt, world record holder. Now, Diane, I know this is asking a lot. It's putting you on the spot, honey, but can we see your hair? 
and not expect me to want to see your hair. Come on. Diane. If you don't show me, if you don't show us the hair, I will lose all confidence in mankind and womankind. Please, just a quick, yeah, go for it. Go, go. Why? Why would you tell me about it if I, you didn't want me to see it? You're blowing my mind. You're breaking my heart. I'm beginning to think you're right. She wants a private performance for me. I know, please. Diane, this is entertainment. No. Diane, 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 hair, hair. Wait, I have to tell you that she has the same look on her face that when people have to decide between door number one, two, or three. <laughs> fiance husband lover is like you know really trying to talk her into door number two but she's resisting <laughs> well time is almost up we can't stay here all night and fight with you are, are, are you going to show us the hair or not yeah. come on why not <laughs> at least tell me why not why not <laughs> what's that <laughs> honey i will bring down hair and makeup people <laughs> person back there who will roll it back up for you if you'll just let it down. I swear, jo Jonathan! 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 Are you back there? Where are my hair people for Christ's sake? <laughs> Alright, well look, you know what? I'd love to see it and my hair people will put it back up for you. Diane! You know, you got all that hair and you just don't want to share. 